TIFU by enrolling in Snapshot with a six-year-old. I realize the title sounds weird. Snapshot is an app provided by my insurance company. The app tracks my behavior while driving and then adjusts my premiums according to the average score. I'm a relatively safe driver so I figured I could save money once they see my driving behavior. The app tracks the behavior over several months and then gives you a grade from A to F. The app tracks your mileage, speed, hard braking, GPS, and phone usage. What I didn't consider was that I drive with my daughter a lot of times and I allow her to play video games or watch YouTube videos on my phone while we drive. I got a score of AC today. They informed me through email they will raise my rates next billing cycle because I'm always on my phone while driving. I TL. Doctor my insurance app tracks my behavior and my premiums are determined by my behavior while driving. They think I'm always on my phone while driving even though it's my six-year-old daughter who is on it watching videos or playing games. Just make a phone call and tell them what happened. I'm sure they'll let you redo it. My husband's co-worker did this. After one cycle they contacted him to tell him they had to drop him as a client. Because he was always speeding, running red lights, stop signs, and driving around at all hours of the night. He's a firefighter. Woman face palming. I totally read this as Snapchat at first. This is kind of hilarious, but also really appalling, because I frequently use Apple Maps when driving, and that would show up as using the phone, right? The real foo was willingly giving your insurance provider permission to spy on you. I worked at an insurance company and we were trialing this on a voluntary basis. Turns out top management broke the most rules. I low-key hate these companies and just won't try that out. If you're following the speed of traffic, you lose points as it might be over the limit. Even if driving 10 to 20 km per hour slower is objectively more dangerous than following the others. Skip too many songs on Spotify? You lose points again. It just feels weirdly like a social credit score for drivers. Honestly this sounds like a good idea on paper. Yet horrible execution. Given it doesn't account for kids playing on the phone and so forth. I've only ever read of these things raising people's rates. Never actually lowering regardless of how they drive absolutely not worth the loss of privacy in my eyes this is why i never enroll in automatic stuff even if you do get a small break in premiums then again after i had alstate's stupid gps tracker blow out my obd2 port that caused three thousand five hundred dollars in damages that was also annoying these companies need to stop doing this I would never agree to something like that. Always on your phone playing videos or games gets you a C. What does it take to get an F? Games plus swerving plus speeding? Just tell them the truth. Yes, you were on the phone, but the kid was driving. Who would have thought that allowing companies to breach your privacy and give them all the data? That's absolutely none of their business could turn out bad for you. It's business and this is why people should be entitled to privacy and it should be enshrined in law in every country. Sue, you will also be locked into this rate for the duration of your policy renewals. I just went through this. I hadn't used snapshots since 2015 and my rate bracket at that time was still being used to justify my premiums and increased significant this year. They refused to re-rate my policy even though it was based on my snapshot score in 2015 and four cars. Later, call them and tell them you want your policy rewritten with your same member benefits. Actually each year, 
You should ask your carriers to reprice, rewrite your policies to see if there are cost savings. The longer you stay with a company the higher your premiums rate increases. Which you would think would be opposite. I was a former insurance agent for 6 years and an underwriter for 2. Long time ago I got one of those plug-in things. When I checked they raised my rates for driving between 2 and 4 am consistently. Called them because I don't drive at night. My truck was running cause it was winter and I'd go sit in it and have a smoke. Speed never went above 0 miles per hour. They just had me redo it for another month. I tried this once with Progressive but I only drive to places I can't get to by bus or train. I got a notice from them that if I was disabling the app I would have my rates increased. When I told them that I really don't drive often they told me I wasn't eligible for the program. It was seriously one of the weirdest experiences. I don't drive enough to be considered a safe client for the insurance company. I have State Farms app. And while they give you a score for phone use, it doesn't affect your rates. It just sees the Bluetooth beacon and knows you're in the car. But there is no way to know if you're a driver or a passenger. My wife and I both have it on our phones. Have saved a ton of money. But it has no idea which of us is driving. Wait what? I thought there was a disclaimer that phone usage exclusively wouldn't count for snapshot. Deductions or raises. I listened to a podcast app that doesn't have background playing so I set it in my seat. But since I thought I read that disclaimer I've never checked. Definitely going to now lol. I'm sure if you called Progressive and explained they won't raise your rates. I'm on Snapshot 2 but I have the device that plugs into my car's ODB2 port. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.